guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have literally just come in from Lidl. I've not done a food haul for a while, so I thought I would just show you everything that I got. The last one that I did was from Aldi, but this one's from Lidl, so I thought I would just unpack everything and show you our weekly food haul. <laughs> all laid out in kind of like categories of where I'm going to have to store it away like fridge stuff, cupboard stuff, meat, sweets and also the kids like nappies and wipes. I'll just take you through everything and show you everything that I got and at the end of this video I'm going to tell you how much everything came to so you've got a rough idea like how much we spend per week. Okay so first of all I got some milk, I've got four pints of semi skimmed milk. The only annoying thing about going to Lidl is that you don't really get much variety in the milk, you literally just get this Aberfoyle brand and there's not like much choice in terms of like the lacto free ones or I also get the A2 milk sometimes as well because I think it helps with bloating but I just got this one because it's all they had to hand and then we needed some coffee as well so I just picked up this espresso strength coffee this one really feels like the Nescafe Milicano brand which we normally buy so I picked that up also some butter which is quite similar to Lurpak also the only cereal I picked up was this choco rice which is basically just Cocoa Pops and I picked this up for me, Fraser and Ella to enjoy moving on to like fruit and stuff so I picked up these strawberries I think they were about £1.30 for this big pack which was really good I also got some raspberries because Ella absolutely loves raspberries. These are her favourite fruit. And I also got some grapes. Ella used to absolutely love grapes but she's kind of gone off them so I'm hoping to try and introduce them again to see if she will like them again because they're just such an easy little snack to have in the fridge and always cut them lengthways, remember? I also picked up just some of these easy peelers because not only does Ella like them but Fraser likes these too. Got some bananas as well. As you can see all this stuff is really geared towards the kids with all these little animals on them which is really good when you go shopping because Ella always wants to pick them. I just got myself a melon and then I think we'll move on to the vegetables. So I've got these little snack peppers. These are just for making for Charlie and his purees. I just think these are a nice little size for making up and there's not really a lot of cutting in them so they're kind of fuss free. Again for Charlie and Ella I've got these sweet potato piggies. They're just little small size sweet potatoes which are really easy to, again to make. And I also got these which are unicorn carrots. These are all different colours of carrots as you can see. They've got like purple ones, just sort of like nice light ones and then normal coloured carrots as well just the orange ones and I got us a broccoli we started to make broccoli in the oven just now where you literally just spray like some fry lights and salt and pepper and bake it on an oven tray and it's so good we're loving broccoli just now also got some spinach as well for a little bit of a health kick got some rocket because I like just throwing this like in a sandwich and also got some spring onions because I recently learned in a hello fresh recipe that if you make your rice cut up your fresh spring onion but don't cook it and then put it through your rice it tastes really strong and it actually tastes like rice you would get out of the Chinese so that's a little tip for you. Got this stir fried veg just because it's in a packet it's quite lazy and it's easy to go. Also picked up some mixed peppers because we always tend to buy these and they always go off really quickly so we need to buy some new ones. Then I just picked up a cheese just for making like cheese and crackers for Ella's lunch. Also got some free range eggs just medium ones and I got 15 of these. Also got some chicken breast slices. I normally get a couple of packs of these, but Fraser's already done the off with one pack, and I think it was sweet chili ones I got. These are quite good because they're two pounds a pack, but they're actually quite big, and Ella quite likes them too. So some cocktail sausages because Ella likes these for lunch. These sliced up with like crackers and just like bits and pieces. She likes a little snacky lunch, so these are a really good thing to just throw in with that. And I also got some smoked ham for putting in Ella's wraps because she really likes smoked ham. I got this family pack and there's 12 slices. It looks quite big actually, so that should last us a little while. So got some back bacon. I always get the unsmoked one. We used to buy smoked all the time, but actually the unsmoked one tastes saltier, so we prefer this. And this is just a double pack, which was quite cheap. It was only like £2.50, I think, or £2.40. On to some of the kids' stuff. I picked up these for Charlie because I remember my brother and my sister-in-law used to buy these all the time for my nephew Jack. So 
I thought I'd give them a go. They are the Heinz Mum's Own Cheesy Tomato Pasta Stars, Cottage Pie and also Sunday Chicken Dinner. These are ideal if we're having a takeaway or maybe if we're out or even if we're making something that Charlie can't really have, like a curry if it's too spicy. We just have like one of these to hand just in case we need to give him like a little pot instead of what we're having. As you can see, these have been cracked because I had to keep him entertained while we were packing everything up. These are just the organic Lidlins, like the way they've done that apple rice cakes and these are quite a big pack so Ella likes these and so does Charlie and these were like 50 pence suitable from seven months. I also picked up these which are fruit bakes these were about a pound and they're really similar to like a fig roll or the Mickey Mouse bars by Annabelle Carmel. I'm not sure sugar wise how these fare compared to the Annabelle Carmel ones but I thought we would give them a go and I can compare them later but they're just called fruit bakes and these are kind of like a Nutri-Grain bar, but Ella really likes these. And they're 128 calories per bar, which isn't too bad. I love that Lidl's like my one-stop shop because I can also pick up Charlie's Aptamil as well. So he is on the Aptamil first infant milk stage one. We did put him in stage two, but actually he doesn't sleep as well at night as if it's like really light in the stomach. So I've went back to stage one. So hopefully this will make him sleep right through again. Also got some of the organic Lidl's apple pouches because these are really handy for having in the changing bag. There's five in there. And I think these were $1.99. And Ella also loves these Fruit King pouches. They're just like yogurts, but they're squeezy so she can do them herself. And because they've got a lid on them, if she doesn't finish them all, we can just pop the lid back on and put them in the fridge, which is really handy. And then this is all of the kind of dinner stuff. So I picked up some salmon fillets. These are the sweet chilli marinade ones. Ella quite likes these as well. So normally Fraser has one. I have one and I give a little bit off to Ella. So we all have the same thing. I've also got some meatballs because that's Ella's favourite dinner and I've just noticed that these are actually gluten free for any of you guys who have gluten allergies, that's quite good to know. I also love some fish cakes so we picked up just these two fish cakes just for an extra dinner to have to hand. She normally has that with like mashed potato or like sweet potato fries and some like mayonnaise to dip in and maybe some peas but she's quite went off peas just now so we'll see how that goes. I picked up two rump steaks after seeing those ones that we had in Iceland the other day I thought I'll just pick these up just now and see how how they are but the Iceland ones were amazing so hopefully these ones are quite good as well without it though but we'll try them. These were actually on specials so that's why I picked them up because they were had like a pound off them which was quite good. Also got some little Hall's 10 skinless sausages for Ella for dinner. She likes to have like a good sausage and mash so we got some mashed potatoes as well which was a pound. Got some chopped tomatoes for making with our meatballs to have with some spaghetti and sometimes what I like to do is have the salmon with some basmati rice and some stir fry veg with sweet chilli so I've just got these two packs of basmati rice which were down to 50 pence each. And another quick dinner to have to hand is just a tortellini because it takes five minutes in the hob. Having this with just like a little bit of butter on it is really nice. Or even just this with some pesto sauce is really handy to have in the cupboard. I also picked up some squeezy honey which is really good to have for like in cereals or also for little tickly coughs in the autumn winter. I also got this deluxe wholemeal seeded farmhouse loaf which looks scrummy. We normally get the Bergen loaf, so this is quite similar to that with all the seeds in and plus Ella actually prefers seeded bread to just plain bread, she's quite funny about it. So I got this one and just as a quick easy lunch on the go, got her these 8 mini wheat and white tortilla wraps which are really handy to have in. On to all the fun stuff because it's Halloween soon and I've got lots of nephews and obviously Ella, I had to pick up some stuff and I thought better get it just now while it's still in because chances are if I wait another couple of weeks this will all be gone. So I got these first and foremost, they are Halloween marshmallows, they've got like little ghosts in them and I think they're filled with jelly which I love those kind of marshmallows so I've got three packs of these just for one for having at home and then for putting in their Halloween bags. I got these as well, I don't know if I'm going to put these in their Halloween bags but I just thought they got us into kind of the Halloween spirit. So if Ella wants like a little snack she could have one of these little spooky scream toffee and apple loaves. Can you hear her laughing? They're a good source of fibre they said and it's five mini loaves. So I got these in the toffee apple ones and I also got them in the chocolate blood orange ones too which look really cool for Halloween. You guys know that I love myself a hot chocolate but these here are the best marshmallows to put on your hot chocolates and all your hot drinks. It's just these ones you find in the baking aisle and they're just so small and perfect. I absolutely love these and I think these are about 70 pence so you should definitely go and grab some of these. When I was younger I used to always beg my mum and dad to get me one of these kind of like marshmallow sweetie lollies and these were just a pound which I thought were so good considering the amount of detail on them so I had to pick up five. I got this little witch one which is really cool. I got this little 
little ghost guy who's also holding a pumpkin, which is kind of putting two in one. I got another witch as well because I thought she was really good. I got a little spooky pumpkin as well and also a mummy zombie guy as well. So these are for my nephews and also because I love those so much, I got the other lollies which are chocolate ones. So it's this white chocolate skull face, which again is really good. These were just a pound each. I got a bat one <laughs> and I also got, stop tickling me, I also got a pumpkin one. I also got these Halloween coins as well, which I thought were really good. These are kind of like Christmas chocolate coins. They got a few of these for the nephew's Halloween. Got four of them and one for Ella as well, of course. I also got these little packs of like skeletons and eyes, so I got a couple of those ones. And then I got some pumpkin ones as well, which are really cool, so a whole array of Halloween chocolate. And if you know, we really struggle to get Ella to eat pasta. She's not a very fussy eater at the best of times, but pasta is just a no-go at all times. So I got this Halloween tricolour pasta. It's got bats, it's got spiders, and it's got little skeletons in there, and I think it's also got pumpkins. So I thought we should try this out and see how she goes. It's either going to go one way or the other, she's going to absolutely hate it because it's black and spiders in her dinner or she'll think it's quite cool so we'll wait and see how that one goes but she picked it so hopefully it goes down quite well and lastly on to nappies I got Ella these size 6 pull up smart pants for bedtime so these ones are just the toujour ones and I got Charlie the toujour size 4 maxi nappies as well there's 40 in a pack and I think these were £3 which is such a bargain and also the toujour wipes so it's a pack of 4 and I love these wipes because they've actually got a lid on the front of them like a closure so that means that they don't dry out so they're really really good plus these are actually the sensitive ones that I've picked up so those ones are good as well. I think these were maybe about £2 or £2.50, which is quite good going for wipes. So guys, I hope you enjoyed watching my little haul. I'm now off to eat some of these chocolate coins with Ella after lunch. If you enjoyed this, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're new as well. See you soon. Bye.